Good afternoon one and all. In this session we are going to learn about how to create date and time application in Django. So what are the steps are involved in creating a Django project? So here creation of Django project is the first step and creation of application in that project is the second one. Now adding our application name in settings.py file is the third step. And we are going to define the view function and URL pattern and create a separate URLs.py file in our application. Finally, we are going to start the server. So these are the main steps for this project. Now I quickly open my command prompt. So this is my command prompt. Now I am going to navigate to my folder. So let me say I am going to navigate to D drive. Now I am going to create a folder called Django projects. So in this I am going to include my all the projects. Now CD Django projects. So here now in the first step I am going to verify the Python version. So the Python version is perfect. Now I am going to install Django. It is already installed. So it will show that the requirement was satisfied. Yes, you can clearly see the requirement was satisfied here. Now we are going to clear the screen and I am going to verify the Django admin version. So let me check the version also. Now 3.2.13. Now the first step is creation of the project. So the project is going to be created by using the command django admin start project. Let me say my project name as first project. So I'm going to press the enter. Yes, the project is created in a D drive. Now I'm going to create the application. So before going to create the application, I'm going to use the command that is Python. Let me say, let me navigate to my folder. Yes, here I'm going to create my application. So python manage.py, uh, let me say start app, my application name as first app. So press the enter. Now the application was created. Now once the application is created, we are going to start our project. Yes, the application is created. Now I am going to select code space dot which will open visual studio code that is our project is going to be implemented and executed in visual studio code and here you can clearly see that it consists of two folders that is first app this is our application name first project this is our project name so first app consists of admin.py apps.py models.py which is used to connect the database and test.py and views.py the first project consists of settings.py urls.py and wsga and finally manage.py which is used to run the server. Now in the first step, I am going to make my settings that is I am going to add my project that is here my application name is first app. So here I am going to add this first app in this. So let me close this one. Now first app so that Django will recognize our application. So in the first step, I am going to add the views.py file. So what is our activity one adding our application settings.py so that the Django will aware about our application and the activity two consists of creating a view for our application. So for that, I am going to open views.py file. So in views.py file, I am going to create my view. So let me import a date and time package. Date and time. Yes. Now after importing the date and time, I am going to call another package also that is Django HTTP in order to get the HTTP response. So here I am going to call HTTP response. So we are going to create our views here. Let me define a function. Uh, let me the function name is time underscore info underscore view that is defining our view. So we are going to request the server and so I am going to use a parameter called request. In this, I am going to get the date and time. So let me say date time dot date time uh, now that is server login time like that. Now here I am going to get the response from the server. So for this, I am going to add my HTML code. So let me say I am going to add my HTML code as like this. So I am going to make a style also. Uh, let me add color or uh, let me say it will be green. Now. Here I am going to call this one. So here I am going to close this one completely and I am going to uh, close this one also. Now here I am going to call a message that is hello, uh, welcome, let me say, 
welcome so slash is used to add the multiple lines so hello welcome to the world of django now i am going to close this h1 tag that is h1 tag along with i am going to mention the break tag also now next one now here i am going to add the another thing another thing also so what i am going to add let me say it will be closed when once the entire string is going to be completed so let me say i am going to add the another one so let me going to add this one also so here uh, so here x1 style is color green and i am going to add uh, the programs let me say like this now first i am going to close this one so so here i am going to add another message the programs in django let me add the slash in django are written in advanced python advanced python so i am going to close the h1 tag and i am going to close i mean uh, close uh, use the break tag i am going to start it with the next line so in the next line i am going to add the another text message also along with the server response time i am going to add this messages so here i am going to take let me say so oh, here uh, django is used to connect to uh, let me add any database let me minimize this one yeah any database i am going to close the h1 tag and i am going to close the break tag now i am going to call our date and time that is h1 let me say our style is equal to let me add color colon let me use pink color now close this one it will don't show an error now here i am going to use like this so here in every way we are going to use the semicolon color equal to green also semicolon now so here i am going to print the date and time now the current date and time is here i am going to get the string first that is str of time so let me going to end this one and i am going to end the h1 tag and also close the center tag yes so here you can clearly see that here i just printed a message that is hello welcome to django and programs in django are written in advanced python and django is used to connect any database and finally i have retrieved the date and time now from this i am going to return my response hence i am going to write return http response of the variable name that is s so in this way use.py file is going to be written now the next step is we are going to represent our view in urs.py file so for this in the application that is first app i am going to create a file the file name is urls.py in this urs.py file i am going to mention my view so from django dot urls import let me say path so i am going to mention the path here so let me type import all the views so in order to import all the views i am going to use dot that is from dot import views now in url patterns i am going to mention my pattern here so what is my pattern i am going to mention the path which consists of our view name that is view dot time underscore info underscore view and let me say uh, my name as time underscore info underscore view yes so here we mentioned the url pattern now i am going to end it with a comma so this is urs.py file in our application now we are going to open urs.py file in the project that is here in the first project so in this i am going to include my url which i have defined in the application so here hence i have used include keyword and along with i am going to add the path so what is the path here let me say path of my application name i am going to be mentioned here that is first app 
a next step here i am going to include my function that is include of first app dot urls now the function is closed yes right so we are going to save it here so first we have created the view in the second step we have created urls.py file in the application in the third step we have mentioned our url in urls.py file in the project now we are going to save all the files and we are going to open the command prompt so here my command prompt so let me say python space manage.py run server so if you are told any error the errors are displayed in the server side so here i just started my project now when once the project is started we are going to enter the url that is localhost colon so here we can clearly see that view there is an error so let me check it out this error uh, yeah views dot time so here we are going to add views so we just mistake it here views we are going to save it here yes you can clearly see that no errors we just going to quit the server and we are going to uh, migrate using the command python manage.py migrate in order to remove any unwanted errors now again i am going to start the server python manage.py run server now the server is started with the port number 8000 so i am going to copy this one and i am going to open it in the browser so here i am going to open it in the browser so here we are going to mention our application so let me say first app when you press the enter it will clearly display the message hello welcome to the world of django the programs in django are written in advanced python and django is used to connect, connect any database now the current date and time is this when you are going to refresh the time will be automatically changed so here you can clearly see that the time is automatically changed with milliseconds also so in this way the application is created that is date and time application is created in django thank you